I fell asleep. Come on in. Let's get the chat up. I have... I have all my little... Come on in. I actually fell asleep, y'all. I don't know if you can see, nobody can see it right now, but my hand is covered in sweater. I'm just, I fell asleep. I don't know if my hand was underneath my hip or I was sitting up in my chair and I don't know. I still, I woke up at three o'clock. North Central Texas. Yep. It is windy. Oh, y'all, I'm going to make you sleep. Sleepy. It's a little angel that a friend gave me for Christmas one year. Isn't it cute? I'm pulling out the stuff that's in my, my pamper box. And we'll go through it. I don't know what's in here. Pink rags. This is orange oil. Let me see where I can find it. Put it, put, put it someplace. It won't fall. And some house slippers. I used to carry these in my travel bag so that I would have house shoes to put on in hotel rooms. That's for my oil. And this is a neat thing. You can screw a water bottle in here. And it's a little humidifier. And it puts out steam. Let's kind of just have a spa day. Somebody made this for me. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has my name in it. And I don't like a lot of color on my fingernails even though I got some but I really like a matte finish so I got this and here's the uh, a little measuring cup for for stuff and these are stretch bands that you can do exercises sitting at your chair Let's see what else we got here. Posted notes. An exercise guide for the stretch bands. More posted notes. You can never have too many Sharpies. And there's a quarter. I don't know why there's a quarter. I might know why there's a quarter. Once upon a time for my birthday, a little boy gave me two quarters. And I think I had them in here. And I have kept those two quarters. 
He doesn't remember giving me because he was probably only six. But I can't open this. Let's see. One would need to be able to see it. There we go. I'm going to put it right back in here. I might find the other quarter. Anyway, this is kind of a, a memory box. I'll stick that in case I find that other quarter. But it says joy on the outside of it. It had a Christmas present in it once upon a time, but it is just a, an aluminum pan. But that's what I turned into a little pamper box. So that you could have, I put a little notepad in there with a Sharpie. Where'd my Sharpie? So that I could write, I had a pen. Let's see. Got my little shoes. Here is um, a calligraphy pen. And I've always been interested in the stars and the planets. Put my little Auntie McGass uh, doily that has my name on it in here. And these are little stretch bands for doing exercises. And this is a medium strength isometric exercises. It's kind of fun. And if you want to do your toes... A little toe separator and stuff. And nothing makes us any happier than colored pencils. And I had a colored book, but I think I gave it away. And this is a cute thing. It's just a box. You can buy these cards on Amazon. And it's got little, I turned them in to cuticle cream on your nails, moisturize your feet, make your bathroom a sauna, take a break, spa water mask, have a picnic. Go for a run. I'm never going to do that, y'all. Go for a bike ride. My, I don't have a bike. Go for a swim. Not going to go for a swim. Go for a hike. Bubble bath with candles. Do your hobby. What do you like to do? You like to color? Do you like to? My sister in law makes baskets. Call a friend. Take a walk. I could do that. Lotion on your legs. Soak feet in um, vinegar and one would have to read your writing. Vinegar and Epsom salt. Sit in a quiet place for 15 minutes. Lotion on your feet. Music up loud and dance. Pamper mission, spritz of perfume, pamper mission, build a pamper bag. This is what we're doing. Listen to a book. I listen to books all the time. Condition your hair, pamper 15 minutes, moisturize your face and read a book. Paint your toes, pamper brush hair 100 strokes. Go outside and sit in a sunbeam. Listen to a book. Listen to good music. File your fingernails. Foot soak. Girls night out. Epsom salt bath. Knit or crochet. Scrub knees and elbows. Journaling. 
or your gratitude journal. Watch a movie. Read a good book. Scrub your face. But you can buy these blank cards on Amazon. You can even buy a card holder. And you turn that into your pamper, pampering missions. If you can't think of what to do. <clears throat> Another one of the stretch things. A face. Face wipe. And here is a book for learning how to do calligraphy. Never done it, but I always wanted to. And I have a manicure kit. Never hurts to have one of these. I have one I've worn out that's by my chair. This one's pretty. It's got roses on it. Exercises. And this you can stick in the microwave and heat up and put on the back of your neck. Put it on the back of your neck and just or on your lean it on your back. Might have coffee beans in it, but I don't think so. So you see, it's a cute little pampering package. We forget sometimes to take care of ourselves. Where am I going to put it now? Anyway, we'll leave it right here for now and I will set it back behind me. Anyway, y'all. You could like uh, Sarah's got a good idea. Put some post, put some thank you notes in your in your pampering box. You know, it could be a bag. <clears throat> I'm reading all your comments. I was looking at everything. I've got an essay going out tomorrow that has 31 pamper missions in it. But set you up a little a little bag, a little little basket. I know you got baskets. You got a stash of baskets. But I just thought this was pretty. Somebody gave me a Christmas present, and you know me, I couldn't get rid of it. But you can go look in, in your nail polish and, and get out some clear nail polish or something you really like. If you've got some of those white gloves that are cotton gloves that like they use in antique places, Put some hand lotion in here and some white gloves and you can sit and just let your gloves. If you got an old iPod, put it in here. Like I got an antique iPod. Let's see if it's working again. <clears throat> That's nail polish that fell. Yep, it's working again. And put on some fun music. That was red. That was pink, hot pink nail polish. But this oil. Oh. It's supposed to be energizing oil. Maybe you want to put some lavender here. But this is orange oil. I wish y'all could smell it. Whew. But I got a little dropper. To go with it. And you can, you can just have a fun little... Little box. I used to have a chair in here, and Robert took, wanted it in the basement, so I let him take it to the basement, but I miss it. 
Y'all, I've been dreaming about buying a new car. I don't need a new car. I got a new truck. But set you up a little pamper box. And maybe you don't feel like doing everything in it. But just do one thing. Put you a good book or a devotional in it. I might put my little one minute devotional in here. Yeah, just have have some cards and they're on Amazon. They're not expensive. They're not. You can do the same thing for decluttering. Maybe you've got some pictures you like to look at that are in a drawer somewhere. Put them in here. Word search books. Those are fun. Some some people like Sudoku. I never. I knew if I ever got addicted to that, it wouldn't work. So I never started. piano music to play it's so relaxing that's why I love Luke Powell he's from South Africa and there was a terrible accident yesterday in South Africa only one survivor a little baby I don't know if it's fake news or what I haven't seen it listed again but please pray for the families 200 people died, but I could be wrong. Yeah, if you like to crochet, put some yarn in here. You don't have to be fancy at crocheting. Just do one block. <clears throat> Rebecca loves to crochet. Yeah, <laughs> Robin likes the clock ticking, yeah. I found joy in coloring. And they have the adult coloring books now. I was I was watching Blessed. I forget the name of her her YouTube channel. Blessed is the beginning of it, and she's gone through a whole lot. Her home got torn apart by a tornado. Um, her son died. And I know her because she was Ben's, it's, it's you know, it's seven, seven degrees of separation, but I, I, I know who she is. And she, I don't know what the name of her, blessed something. But she used to do do-it-yourself do stuff from the Dollar Tree, making things from the Dollar Tree. And she said, she did a video this past week. And Julie, Julie's best friend, who was, Julie was Ben's girlfriend when he passed. She was with him when he passed. And Julie's, Julie's best friend was this girl's sister-in-law. So they lost everything in a tornado at Real Foot Lake. They lived at Real Foot Lake. And so we had that in common. In fact, I think I lived just right down the road from where she lost her home. And she said, you know, going and buying that stuff. And she, they had just built a home. They lived in a trailer. 
and they built a home after the tornado, the tornado that hit Mayfield, Kentucky, hit Real Foot Lake first. It almost got Justin's dad's house. And she said, buying that stuff, and, you know, she couldn't sell it because it wouldn't hold up in shipping. And that just added more stuff to do. And she has since gotten married. And it just became clutter. And I was so proud of her to stop doing those videos. She She's real good with makeup. And she's good at organization. You, you can tell she's born organized. And she put a lot of thought into her house. And she just didn't want to clutter it up. She's never had a home that was like this one. And so she wanted to keep it nice. So Blessed Beyond Measure is the name of her YouTube channel. So go check her out. She's had, she's had it rough. Her, her adult son, who was in the military, died. <clears throat> a couple of years ago. It was really sad. And just heartbreaking. But check out Blessed Beyond Measure. Tell her fly lady center. Fellow lake rat. <laughs> Once a lake rat, I'll, I got a friend who sends me birthday messages. I don't see, hear much from Tim and Susan. But he always says, happy birthday, lake rat. Because he grew up across the street. I don't know. She's probably taking a nap like I did. I fell asleep on my hand, y'all. I don't know if you can tell. But my hand looks like a sweater. It's the weirdest looking feeling too. <clears throat> I usually don't wear a sweater. So y'all, I used to have an alarm on my phone that would go off at 3 o'clock every afternoon. When I started doing the show at 3 o'clock, I, I got rid of it. But it was the tolling of three bells, three chimes. And... Oh my. And it was because they said Jesus died at three o'clock. And on the Jewish calendar, it starts at sundown for the next day. So Jesus died at three o'clock. And then the end of the day was the next day it started. And then on Sunday, he arose from the dead. That's what we're looking at. And I will never say the words, Happy Easter again. I never thought it was a happy time. It's happy because, but Easter... is. I've just been listening to Bull Pony on, on Rumble. He was on the Thrive Time show. But Ishtar is an awful thing. And the Bible talks about this evil spirit in the Bible all the time. And they try to take our celebrations. Jesus celebrated Passover. He died on Passover, and they hijacked our, our time. They were happy. They thought Jesus dying, the evil ones thought Jesus dying was their victory. But yes, we celebrate the resurrection. And y'all, you got to pray, 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 because the University of Alabama is in revival, y'all, in revival. 250 kids got baptized day before yesterday, baptized in a fountain, baptized in cold weather.
Where did all my little uh, stuff go to? Well, y'all, that hadn't been much of a tea time, but I wanted to show you my pamper box. Joy, joy, joy. I think Miss Tammy gave me this box. But find you a basket in your stuff. Make your own little Easter basket, own little pamper basket. If you got a piece of luggage, have you got one of those train cases that you don't carry anymore? The, the makeup case? Fill it full of good stuff. Put you a mirror in there and play makeup. I love you all. I'll see you later. We'll do a marathon tomorrow. Be good, kind, and sweet. I know I'm just really sleepy. I'm, I'm going to get me a dose of coffee, I believe. I'll see you later. Let me hold this up one more time. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>